What's up, y'all? It's your girl, C. Alexis, the certified. Yeah, I pre already know what time it is. I already know what we about to be doing today in this video. We finna be yapping, per usual. Nothing new, nothing less. Y'all already know the deal. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Make sure y'all post notification bells are on so y'all know every time I post. Y'all know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I tried filming this video yesterday. Didn't like how it was. Had to actually take some note. Had to actually watch some of these videos to really grasp, you know what I'm saying, more and more of it before I could speak on it. Y'all see me doing my research doing my big one so in today's video come closer we gonna address this degrading and humiliating ass content on youtube y'all know that tiktok song you know black people no black people no that's what i think every time i see a fucking clip of this type of content go viral and it's so fucking embarrassing I specifically want to address these 20v1 rappers, influencers, smash or pass, pop the balloons. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I watched and listened to a whole bunch of these videos within the past like seven hours to really understand what is the concept of all these videos. I have watched them when they first came out and I'm not gonna lie. They were actually entertaining when they first came out. It was something new to YouTube that everybody started doing. It was somewhat interesting and entertaining and until it became very humiliating, very degrading, people talking shit about other people, people trying to humble other people, and it just kind of spiraled out of control. So I do want to say I wanted to start off with the positive things about this video. I'm going to address two specific ones that I did watch, which was the one with Deshae Frost and the one with NLE Choppa, which was my favorite two that I have watched so far. I feel like with those two videos, they actually, for the most part, like, they definitely were very respectful at the end of the day. They were very respectful, um, very entertaining. Their personalities were very interesting. They pretty much gave everybody compliments. They were very positive. I feel like if all of the 20v1s stayed like that, where it was more positivity in a way, and still was like, well, you know, you're not my, you might not be my type, but you're gorgeous. I like your fit. I like your style. And I'm not saying that they just have to compliment them out of feeling like they had to, but it's things that you can see in people that still might not be you liking them you know what i'm saying so we'll say i did enjoy those specific videos it was just other videos that i didn't so much enjoy where i feel like the rappers were very dry very boring really you could tell it was just there for the check so one of the points that i have pointed out is that you can learn a lot of things from these type of videos they might not be good things and they might not be bad things but you did i have definitely learned a lot from these videos which is why i have so many notes now from these videos because i learned that i learned different things and y'all gonna hear everything Thing i fucking learned okay i wanted to point out that i feel like these videos are more about the profit more than anything so that goes for the youtubers themselves that's hosting the videos i feel like it's not really about finding love for people it's not really about trying to find a match for somebody else it's about the money that y'all are making from these videos being popular. These rappers that's coming in to do this, these influencers, they probably getting a piece of the check too. They getting a percentage. So of course they're most, I, I do think that some of them probably did come for pure entertainment and plus the, and the money was a plus. But I really do think that a lot of them only came because they were being paid to be there, which I mean, I'm not saying, you know, decline a check. I'm not saying that, but y'all coming in this bitch, like half of these people were in there blowed out of their mind, high, barely interacting with the girls barely engaging with the girls why why even take the check if you're not gonna actually be genuine i just didn't get why some of these people was there it, it just was a waste of watching them they were a waste of fucking space to be quite honest yeah and then they keep on making more and more of these videos because they're making money off of it which i'm not saying is the issue but you can tell certain things i don't want to say are scripted but like i don't know these people are way too much they do too fucking much too much going on in these videos i feel like these videos highlight a lot of the negative things within the black community so for instance i noticed that with a lot of people's standards specifically the girls they were very into hood ninjas like they very emphasize that all oh, like I remember I saw one of the videos. Dude said he worked nine to five and he did content creation on YouTube. And the girls are all like, no, I need me a hood ninja. Bitch. So you need you a nigga that's going to probably be locked up or dead, right? Is that what you're saying? You, the delusion, the standards are, the bar is in hell. The, the bar is beyond hell. How much farther can you go than hell? Let me know. Because that's where it's at. 
and just other things like colorism i feel like stands out a lot in these videos the fact that y'all don't like y'all own people just based on the fact that they're darker complected moral of the story when it comes to these standards it's like they say one thing it's like oh these are my standards like oh like i don't date light-skinned boys i don't date this type of girl i don't i like natural girls oh that's the one y'all i like natural girls and then pick the bitch with the bbl <laughs> naturally what natural face I'm, I'm assuming you meant natural face i'm talking shit i don't know but i think that's very interesting i've i've noticed a lot of people contradict themselves from the beginning where they be like oh like this is my type and then at the end they end up picking a different type the thing is y'all are not into these men like y'all make y'all are into men and women that other men and women talk about that they are into y'all do this shit Y'all say this stuff because it's popular. Great example. All y'all that say y'all are into dark skin dreadheads. So good and damn well, all of y'all would not realistically talk to a man, this man. Y'all know what I mean? Like, or somebody that looks like him or somebody that is like him. Just like y'all say one thing, but y'all really feel a different way. Be yourself. Y'all are not admitting what y'all truly like and what y'all how y'all truly feel. Y'all are picking what society is pushing on y'all, which is just a whole bunch of people with an opinion. It's it's not factual me sitting here talking shit right now is an opinion it's not factual you know what i'm saying so it's like if you see a dude that's short and he attractive and you would fuck with him fuck with him just because this other bitch says she like to climb trees and shit and get on roller coasters don't mean you got to do the same thing that's the problem y'all want to fit in so bad let's get let's get out of the mindset that we need to fit in we need to agree with what everybody else agree with if i want a nigga that's short like tory lanes so fucking be it Lil duval i don't but i'm saying hypothetically over sexualization situation where in these different videos people are being very overly sexual a lot of the questions are super inappropriate which again at the end of the day these are all adults these are all people over 18 so it is consensual and that's fine but why if we on a speed and a show why is we talking about oh what's your favorite position i seen this one and the girl was like do you do you like it <laughs> this is crazy saying out loud she asked him do he like oral wet sloppy joe how do you like oral is what she said why are you asking this man this do we have no shame and i know y'all seen the one and if y'all didn't i'm not even gonna tell y'all to go watch it this one girl allowed this guy to put his fingers in her sacred area and then lick his fingers after she did that i'm trying not to be too explicit for the people who not wanted to hear all that so i'm sorry if that was a little too much baby it was too much for me and i actually fucking saw the video it was disgusting she was bent over in front of the camera and that's not the first girl i saw that did that with a, a skirt on bent over in front of these people have you no shame so let's talk specifically a little bit about just 20 v1 in general so if you guys don't know what 20 v1 is 20 v1 is where there are 20 people whether that's women or men it just depends on whoever the one person is their preference in dating so if it was a man if it was a rapper say you could say little baby or something he didn't do one but little baby versus 20 women it'll be something like that the first part of the video person would just do a yes or no which means it's based off appearance based off style based off first impression that's pretty much what the first round is the second round is where the girls ask the rapper a question and the girls determine if they want to continue to date this rapper or influence or whoever the one person is and then the third round they have a speed day it's like a minute a minute 30 or two minutes however long the host decides that the speed day happened after that the rapper ends up picking one person or two they get to pick whoever they want so if they want to choose three they can choose three if they want to choose one two so on and so forth so that is the whole concept of the 20 v1 and when you really think about it it's like a, who is really going home with these people they say this is supposed to be a form of dating but it's like nobody's these rappers are not going home with these girls this is just content at this point and that is fine but they they kind of make it seem as if it's supposed to be dating content the secondhand embarrassment i get from these videos i really cannot stress this enough this shit is so embarrassing i be embarrassed and i'm not even the one there but let me tell y'all one specific ick that i got from these videos that i noticed a few different girls did with rob 49 he passed on a girl this young lady was like i thought you like i'm dark skin and petite i thought you liked them dark skin and petite whatever she said because y'all know his song he said dark skin and petite you don't stop trying to be chose the door don't sit here and beg for this man's attention but what's embarrassing is i've noticed these women or it might have been other people too saying these rappers lyrics to them
Like the girl who did the Nardo Wick one. Like I was so embarrassed. I I got secondhand embarrassment so bad. Baby, what you doing? Come out. I've been missing you. And I mean, hey, like maybe you know that you know maybe that's her. Cool. That shit gave me the ick. The 360s, ooh, the 360s with the Smash and Pass videos. First of all, y'all are really letting these niggas say, can I get a 360? And y'all turning around in a line or by yourself, going in a circle so he can, clearly the only the only thing in the 360 they trying to see, they trying to see the full body. That's what the 360 is for. Like it's no, it's nothing else that, you know what I'm saying? That's really gonna be shown. They trying to see the ass, baby. That's it. It's just the fact that y'all really do it. <laughs> I just want a 360. Y'all do, and I, y'all do the fucking most when y'all do the 362. Why is you bending over? Uchi out. Uchi not put up. Put the Uchi up. This should be your sacred Uchi. Stop. We don't need to see everything. Everything is not needed. Social media really got y'all feeling like everything needs to be shown. It doesn't. Privacy is, it is okay to be private. And one of the videos I had watched, I think the guy had asked his girl how many bodies she had. And she was like, oh, I only got, she said, I got four. And he thought the shit was so unbelievable unbelievable he was like you're lying y'all really think everybody just be out here sucking fucking some of us actually have morals and values and not to say that y'all don't but some of us prefer not to do those things and i think that's okay so don't judge other people because they don't have a whole phone book of bodies pop the balloon on the least attractive thing i feel like that was one of the worst and to a certain extent i feel like it was i don't want to say worse than the 20 v ones because i think the 20 v ones got them beat by far it was real fucking close it was very close in embarrassment because i feel like the 20 v ones it bothered me in a different way than the pop the balloons did because first of all why are we popping the balloons on the least attractive person why are we popping the balloons on the least attractive body type like all of this shit is degrading content at the end of the day specifically in the black community what the ideal body type is what the ideal i don't even want to say ideal y'all let me take that back what the the beauty standards are you see what i'm saying so that's just very fucking unfair and very judgmental but the the moment somebody say some shit about y'all it's up and it's stuck so if y'all are unfamiliar with the pop the balloon thing as well i'm gonna explain all this to y'all because i know everybody doesn't watch these videos so the pop the balloon for the least attractive person somebody comes out and it's a line of people with balloons in their hand like this and they got like a needle or something like that it the moment you walk out the activity the game starts so if somebody already think you are unattractive as soon as you walk out they can pop the balloon you get different questions asked like how old are you where are you from what you do and people can continue to pop the balloon if they choose to you walk around you talk to everybody or you walk down the line and talk to everybody after that whoever didn't pop their balloon that's it so it goes to the person who actually is the contestant at that point and then they start asking other people questions and popping their balloons if they choose to and at the end of it if that person's balloon is still inflated that's your match that's how that went so with the popping a balloon thing it's a few things that i noticed a lot in these videos specifically that had really got under my skin gave me the egg bothered me whatever you want to call it one of those things was noticing how people talk bad about people and really try to bring them down and try to humble them so whenever a woman i noticed come up like one come up super confident and she looks short herself i noticed she got her balloon pop or they popped the balloons about her one of the videos i had saw i guess this guy wasn't attractive and and, you know they was like, oh like you know he's just not my type that's fine but one of the girls had the nerve and even if you was thinking it because one thing about it i think about stuff in my head that i know will probably be mean to say out loud and i'm not gonna say it i'm gonna keep it to myself she told this man she's like mm you kind of look like Sid from Ice Age a little bit. You trying to roast. And the moment she would have said that, I would have got on her ass. And it, But then again, that's kind of like, you know, not being able to handle rejection. But you try to cook me, I'm about to cook your ass like a piece of salmon, ho. You about to get cooked like the fish filet. I think that's when you become a certain type of maturity, when you can allow people to not find you attractive and be okay with that. I'm not, I'm there. Like, that's fine. If you don't think I'm attractive, if you don't think I'm the baddest bitch walking on this earth, that's fine. I could give a fuck less because guess so at the end of the day as long as i know as long as i know what's up that's it and if any of y'all knew this y'all wouldn't be in these fucking videos oh 
to double back to how I said a lot of it is for profit, a lot of it is also for clout. We all know this word clout. We know what clout means. After these people I have noticed say that they come on there to gain engagement, they come to gain clout pretty much. They've come to become more realized and have more attention on them for the sake of their content creation, their pages, Instagrams and social medias and all of those things like that. Which at the end of the day, I feel like that could be a, a good way to, you know, put yourself out there a little bit more. But it's, it's, this is not, I don't feel like a positive way to be seen. If I was trying to work with you, I mean, I guess with, those, with that type of content, that's fine. But outside of that, who's going to want to work with you if they see you let people play with your Uchi and smash their past videos on YouTube? And this stuff is forever, y'all. Y'all have to realize how important, how serious having your, your digital footprint really is. You put this stuff out on the internet, it's there forever. So when you portray yourself in a certain way on social media that might not be in the best light, it's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. So I'm hoping and praying that whatever you got going on now, you stick into it. It's not going to fly with all business opportunities. Not everybody's going to sit here and hire you to do this, that, and the other if you decide to change what you got going on. I also noticed in these videos a lot of the girls were talking about how they did OF and one of the girls was only 20 and this is not too bad S workers or nothing like that but I really want to know what makes y'all be immediately like okay I'm gonna do this is it because that's where the money is at I really genuinely been wanting to know because it's just kind of like did y'all give anything else to try at all like I've heard a lot of people who do that type of work they say it's not all glitz and glamour and it's not they don't even be wanting to do it no more you know what I'm saying so I'll be very curious to kind of know what pe what makes people want to do this stuff I really genuinely will have a conversation with people who do this stuff I get people lives was in shambles and that probably was something the only thing that they could do so that's not i'm i really don't want to be serious and not just be so insensitive as if everybody signed up for this stuff but i'm specifically talking about the only of people because you definitely signed up for that shit trust me you got to make an account and shit don't you you got to make an account with fucking gmail so i know you got to make an account with that the shock value of the content is another reason why this type of content does well because again i was shocked as hell to see that video with that girl and then these other girls and all the videos that had went viral from these videos i was very shocked to see that this is really what's going on you can't fake that stuff even if it was scripted it's no faking it i watched these videos y'all i watched these videos before i come up here and talk this stuff is very real and that's what's so scary about it i would rather it be fake scripted pranking type this is real with this content i feel like this content can be interesting and i feel like this content can be entertaining entertaining without all of this extra stuff from the shock value another thing i wanted to address um pop the balloon i don't know this person's name but it was this guy he was from chicago girl popped the balloon and she tried to humble that man that's what i be talking about y'all be trying to humble people way too bad she's talking about some you came in with the flower in the vest and you tried to make it look better than what it was you came in with a suitcase i don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was yeah i don't like that you brought a fake briefcase there's probably nothing in there and it's also halfway open you should probably close it okay. i just want a man with the higher vocabulary okay. which you don't have in your day-to-day -day speak y'all she really tried to read him for filth and she wasn't ugly i'm not gonna lie and say she was ugly she wasn't but at the end of the day looks and personality i feel like that's what makes a person attractive not just your looks so immediately when she said that took her from up there to to hell you in hell at this point what gives you the right to try to humble this man if that's not your cup of tea that's fine you feel like that shit was corny and lame cool you can say it but keep it up there and even if you was gonna say it to one of the girls that they was your friends i don't really know you really tried to embarrass this man in front of everybody then you try to talk about how he reminds you of your brother's age and his he doesn't have the proper vocabulary in his day-to-day -day speak on your day-to-day -day speak you don't have the proper grammar and vocabulary in your day-to-day -day speak, Miss Ma'am. I ain't never heard nobody say no day-to-day -day speak. You making shit up at this point. You making up phrases and words and you trying to eat this nigga up. You go ahead and open you a grammar book up, bitch. Fuck that. Cause especially when he seemed like he was very respectful, very kind, and you just came up there and you really tried to humble this man. I feel like he ended up eating her ass up right back. Don't come at people like that. Y'all be coming at people way too crazy when y'all are not the the best yourself another thing i have noticed with these videos is that they will purposely choose people to be a part of these lineups that are not societally attractive because they purposely want these people to get embarrassed and for people to talk about them to make it more dramatic and to add more entertainment to it because i remember when this stuff first i came out it was this one girl and i kid y'all now i felt so bad for her because i don't think she was an ugly girl but when i tell y'all 
everybody passed on her everybody had passed on her but like one person it was just like the shit that that could do to your self-esteem that's why you have to be sure of yourself that's why you got to be confident within yourself because you let other people control how you think of yourself you would never feel like you're a good enough person and i was just like damn like imagine you walk up bro imagine you walking up and niggas start popping a fucking balloon in your fucking face you you, you got all your confidence you think like this is gonna be cool i look good and they they just get the you know what I'm saying? It's it's a double-edged sword. Like, because I'm trying not to diss the people that's popping the balloons because they can have their own opinions. But also the person, that, it's just a lot, yo. I think I kind of already covered the preferences in these videos that I feel like were very dumb. The preferences don't be making sense half the time because like, again, they say they like one thing and they end up picking a completely different person. All of these pick me's in these videos that's doing the most for the attention of these rappers. Specifically, it's been with the rappers. That's why I keep on... That's that's why I keep emphasizing rappers because this is mostly where I was seeing the weird shit happen was in the videos with the rappers. They was doing the most. These rappers, y'all are not they type in real life. Y'all are not they type at all. They would never pick you. They would never choose you. And yet you breaking your back to prove like, oh, like I want to be chosen. You you showcasing and the stuff that y'all showcase, like, oh, my cuckoo is good. And this, that, and the other. Y'all realize that's not all they looking for right in a relationship you might be looking at that for fun but they're not they would never fuck with y'all for real and that's what i hope that y'all would know let's talk about these grown-ass people in these videos though these grown-ass adults now i'm not saying grown adults can't speed date and things like that but sir why are you how, bro how old was this man he was like 30 something and he was a doctor doing the fucking smash your pass video this is what you're doing your free time on your off day and i know doctors work crazy hours go find you something better to do mm -mm. go find you something better to do if i seen my fucking doctor on the smash your pass video i'm i'm not going to that doctor no more you're 38 and you're a doctor that's correct what's wrong I've seen so many people say how these videos is giving slavery, slavery auction. I've seen so many people tell me how these videos is giving cattle. Y'all is giving everything in a book. It's just, it's shown, it's crazy. Y'all standing up in line for a lot of this stuff to be treated a certain type of way. Cause the one with the baby, he just was giving them dry ass energy. The one with Nardo Wick, dry ass energy. Like they didn't want to be there. Well, y'all throwing y'all self at them and they not even making eye contact with y'all so that's why i said these videos i don't really see a lot of positivity in them at all especially and i hate to say it with the black community of content creators that's creating this content so y'all go look up 20 v1 y'all gonna see the people that's on there and then y'all can gauge what i'm trying to say but like with jubilee they do the kind of similar thing with the dating shows and stuff like that and like another creator said it seems like it is more educating in a way because of how they break it down towards the end and how they point out our biases and things like that our contradictions and stuff like that so if you are to watch those type of videos i would say maybe watch them like they do have a better gauge i would say of that type of content i don't really think this is beneficial whatsoever to our community at all i just feel like honestly it just brings the community down a lot more i the ones i've seen in their arguments people going back and forth based off them getting rejected not a whole like not a talking about everybody on the line and how, oh i didn't want you anyway but even with the rejection thing y'all need to get that together too it is okay to not be chose especially if they they said it in a respectful way and y'all be so embarrassed by it when it, nobody was trying to embarrass you they just said they, they was cool on that teach y'all kids how to accept rejection everybody needs to learn that because it's okay not even relations but just rejection in general with jobs with where everything y'all like this shit needs to be nipped in the bud now so i think this is going to be my last point from this whole thing i noticed that in a lot of these videos i feel like people say certain things about the other people to get a reaction from the people on a side when it's the i feel like the men say stuff about the women that's coming up to seek validation from the other men that are with them you know what i mean to get attention is it give off class clown vibe like you saying shit you randomly doing stuff and saying stuff to antagonize this person to humiliate them to degrade them just so you can get laughs and giggles and vice versa with the women as well. Y'all really been showing y'all ass with this 20v1 trend. Whole ass. Quite literally, y'all been showing y'all ass. Y'all know what I'm saying? Let's stop this type of content, please. 
and thank you. That goes for everything. That goes for the Now That's TV, Zeus, and I'm not gonna lie. I'll, I'll be watching Now That's TV. So I, I'm not gonna be a full hypocrite. But all that is doing is highlighting the negativity within the black community with all of this shit. So I'm hoping that we can find a way to come. Because these things, these they, they could do dating shows on YouTube and things like that. But it just needs to be more than what it is. It can still be interesting and have drama without it being humiliating and degrading y'all should have had people keep it cute because but of course they don't get they don't care how this presents our community they don't care how this even presents them they care about getting a check social media got y'all doing stuff that y'all would have never done if social media didn't exist but y'all are willing to do anything for money and clout so i hope y'all enjoy my input on the 20 v1 trend and just all of this content that is going on around black youtube that i personally are y'all see what i said in the video let me know in the comments what y'all think about this how y'all I feel about it what y'all think about what i said let me know what other topics y'all want me to cover and talk about because i'm open to anything make sure y'all like comment and subscribe on the video if y'all think y'all subscribe make sure y'all subscribe because youtube be unsubscribing people i heard this i'm gonna link my new channel down below this channel is gonna be strictly for vlogs and lifestyle content but i would really appreciate it if y'all supported my other channel as well oh make sure y'all share the video to y'all send it to your mama your granny your daddy your boyfriend your baby daddy i will see y'all in the next video.